Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Chairman Johnson, Senator Hassan, uh, Senator Scott, uh, thank you for the opportunity to introduce Peter Gaynor, whom the President has nominated as the Director of the, Administrator rather, of the Federal Energy Emergency Management Agency. A little over a year ago, I had the opportunity to introduce Peter to the committee at his confirmation hearing for the post of Deputy Administrator of FEMA. It is a pleasure to be back before you again. Let me begin by acknowledging Acting Administrator Gaynor's family and friends, particularly his wife, Sue. Thank you, Sue. I want to commend them for their great support of Peter over his entire career. FEMA is a flagship federal agency for disaster preparedness and response. Today it faces extraordinary challenges confronting the very real effects of climate-related disasters, reforming the National Flood Insurance Program, administrating critical grant programs, and helping ready the nation for possible chemical, biological, and radiological attacks. In carrying out their jobs, the 14,000 women and men of FEMA are often called upon to help people who are going through the worst experiences of their lives. These can be hard jobs. To ensure that the agency and its people are capable of meeting such extraordinary challenges, FEMA must have steady, competent, professional, and permanent leadership that forces a positive culture focused on its mission. Having started in the Marine Corps as a private and working his way up to lieutenant colonel, having served as emergency management director for the city of Providence and the state of Rhode Island, and having served as FEMA director, deputy, excuse me, administrator and acting administrator under President Trump, Peter Gaynor understands the importance of building a team that can fulfill its mission without fear or favor. Mr. Chairman, FEMA needs a capable leader at this critical time, and I hope you give Mr. Gaynor's nomination every consideration. Thank you for your consideration.